Prince Charles is reportedly not going to make grandson Archie a prince as he intends to slim down the monarchy, apparently, when he becomes king. Apparently, that's annoyed Harry and Meghan and actually contributed to their decision to do the Oprah interview that they did a few months ago, obviously. So, presumably, the same would also apply to their daughter, Lily. Jane, this isn't the first time that we've heard about this whole idea of slimming down the monarchy, cos yeah. that happened not that long ago, did it? Yeah, no, Char I mean, Charles has been mooting this for quite a long time. I think he recognises that, you know, the Queen, I think everybody, whether you're a royalist or a Republican or whatever, everybody has massive respect for the Queen. It's just she's just this sort of figure up here. But I think when the Queen goes, I think he recognises that the royal family has to streamline down, that there isn't the appetite for the taxpayer to keep paying for this very sort of large inflated kind of family. It's not happening in Europe, the European royal families, some of them have died out completely. Some of them are very much, you know, literally like going around on bicycles practically. So he's right, he needs, he needs to modernise. And of course, part of that is not having loads of titles and loads of kids and grandkids on, on the kind of sovereign grant, as it's, as it's known. Um, and but, I think, yeah, I mean, they, I think it sounds like a wise thing to do. I mean, we've just heard from Boris again. 200 million has been put to one side for a new royal yacht. We can't do this anymore. We can't. The country, the country is on its knees financially. Yeah. And I think this is a very good move. And I, I wonder if he's taking a leaf out of the book of the Dutch air, young girl who's just left university and she's refused to take her million and a half mm -hmm. a year because she said, why? What will I have done for my million and a half? Yeah. So he's moving with the times. I think it will be narrowed. And a million and a half is nothing for a royal family. I mean, the Dutch yeah. is one of the families that has kind of reduced mm. over the years. But uh -huh. I did find myself over the weekend, I got was reading, because a lot of, obviously, Diana going to be 60 and a lot of the stuff is being kind of rehashed and there's some new stuff coming out. And I actually found myself feeling sorry for Prince Harry because mm. when you actually think about it, you know, there is the monarchy, but they are still his family. Yeah. Mm. And actually, when you're slimming down a monarchy, sometimes it can look as though you're actually saying to him... You're out. We, we, you're out. We yeah. don't want you as part of this family anymore, even though that's not what they're saying. But I think, yeah, you know... And then suddenly he met this young woman he fell madly in love with and he probably thought, well, I'm wanted here, yeah. so I'm going to form my own family mm. and, and, you know, carve, plough my own furrow, if you like. And, so I guess and... it's that thing between um, the, being a part of a family and yeah. being a part of the institution that yeah. is the royal family mm. and almost having two hats on um, at once, which is a really, really difficult dynamic. And as you, mm. you know, I saw the stuff of the weekend about Diana turning 60 and I know that they're going to have, um, they're going to unveil the princess will unveil something in her honour um, coming up this summer. But it sort of made me sort of think, you know, do they even want to do that? As someone who's lost, lost her mum, I'm not quite sure that I would want to be rehashing all of that yeah. stuff. For, for a big birthday like Diana's coming up and, and turning 60. And also, everybody's sort of talking about conspiracy theories and, mm -hmm. and their memories and all of that stuff. She even, was their mum. Yeah, do they yeah. want to do it? Yeah. Probably not, but they have to do it because yeah. they're part of, of the royal family. Well, he's That's said, it. hasn't he, that he's felt, ever since when he first lost his mum, that he's felt that he's, have to, he's been having to console other people's griefs, grief, strangers yeah. that didn't know him and didn't know his mum, and that that... That, that really messed up his own grieving process. It does. And, it so, it, and so it continues. Mm. Uh, you know, definitely, uh, one thing I'll say, for me, grieving in public is one of the hardest things, so I couldn't even imagine on the scale for yeah. the roles for, for Harry and William, what it's like. And it's not just grieving in that period how many years ago, it's continuous, yes. like you said, constant, yeah. constantly going over it. And like you said about all these conspiracy theories and all the rest of it, it's about people it's in their thin. family. Yeah. So you're hurt and broken exactly. for your mother that you've lost and then having to live with the same people that people are talking about conspiracies regarding, the, you know, yeah. the death and fortune of your mother. Can, can just I just say, by the way, that whole section, we've had no autocue at all, and I... Charlene... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, wow. <laughs> I literally read it as if it was there in front of you. <laughs> Amazing. But now I'm messed up now that you said that, OK? I'll totally mess up this next bit. You'll be fine.